When will GPT-5 be released? And how powerful is it going to be? Well, first off, let's take a brief look at the history of the GPT models to see the progressions that they've made in just the past few months. So here on OpenAI's website, we can see a bar graph and in the green is GPT-4 and in the blue is GPT-3.5 and essentially it is showcasing the percentiles from it taking well-known tests in the United States. And as you can see, GPT-4 in the green is doing significantly better than GPT-3.5. And if you were to scroll down, we can see more detailed, easier to read numbers. And for example, the uniform bar exam, you can see it's the 90th percentile for GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5, managed to get in the top 10 percentile. And as you can see, the LSAT, SAT, AP, etc., very popular exams for many people in the States. And you can see the levels, it has jumped up just from simply 3.5 to GPT-4. So now, Let's see some rumors and predictions regarding GPT-5. So here's a tweet from Saki Chen, and we can take a look at some of his background. And as you can see here, quite successful entrepreneur. And basically he states that GPT-5, he's been told that it's scheduled to complete training in December of this year, and that OpenAI expects it to achieve AGI. And now there's some debate saying that they might not do it, but he's basically saying that it's going to do it. So if you have no idea what AGI stands for, let's go ahead and take a look at a definition. So here is Wikipedia's definition of artificial general intelligence, otherwise known as AGI. And by definition, it's the ability of an intelligent agent to understand or learn any intellectual task that human beings or other animals can. And its primary goal of artificial intelligence research and a common topic in science fiction and future studies. And essentially, AGI is a strong AI, full AI, or general intelligent action. So what does that all mean? Basically, it's human-like. It's pretty much everything that you can do as a human or even animals can think of. Its goal is to replicate that entire process. So now let's go back to Twitter to see exactly some examples. So here's some of the tweets under here. This is actually quite interesting. And to give it a pretty easy understanding is imagine if you use GPT or ChatGPT5 and instead of you having to constantly type in Neville prompt number one, two, three, four, five, it could do it by itself to where you just give it one thing and then it does it afterwards and this person actually has this interesting experiments and you can see here essentially what it does is gives it a task and then ideally it looks like it's continuing to complete the task on its own so you can see here your first task is to create your next task and then it continues to generate and reprioritize its tasks as it executes them one by one and I'm not 100% sure on what he's using this for testing, but just the actual concept. Imagine GPT-5, you tell it, hey, teach me how to do X, whatever, Y, Z, and then it does it, and then it continues to do it. So for example, human-like activities, let's say you wanna start a business. You have to first off come up with an idea, and then maybe a name, set up legal, everything all these miniature steps that you need to do to get to the end goal and then whatever start selling whatever product or service you have imagine gbt5 could have that human-like ability for anything you can think of literally anything that's going to be human-like and essentially what they claim as agi which i think is going to be revolutionary but also very scary so that is one of the major things that a lot of people are predicting that could potentially happen so with that being said, the human-like AGI features definitely has stirred up a lot of controversy in the news such as Elon Musk and other well-known figures in the space have talked about pausing the training of GPT-5. So again, they must obviously know significantly more than the average person regarding this technology and being as successful as Elon Musk, for example, or other well-known people in the space, they definitely can see some cons i'd say and also there's a lot of benefits however the fact that if it were to do a lot of stuff that we are seeing who knows the consequences of that only time will tell but it is quite interesting to see how 
very big players in the space are scared of AI progressing at an exponential rate, which based off the details I've seen, GBT5 might be at that level that they are frightened of. And here is a tweet, and this is quite old. This was actually posted back in February, but essentially this showcases a post from Morgan Stanley Research and in summarize, they think that GPT is being trained on 25,000 GPUs and basically that equates to $225 million of NVIDIA hardware. So that's an absurd amount of money, first of all, to be training. And second, that's a big deal because now if they actually are starting training or if they're even done doing it before, the current day, which was back, this was back in February, so who knows how long they've been training this model. We could potentially see it released even earlier than the predicted dates. However, again, these are all rumors. We don't know 100%. However, I thought it'd be interesting to ask an AI what they think it will happen and what day they will be released. So I tried this already on GPT-4. It did not give me an answer. However, I do have access to Google Bard. And guess what? Google utilizes Google search. It's much easier to ask it questions regarding information out there. So we can see here, when will GPT-5 be released? They say there's no confirmed dates. However, they think in 2025. So that's literally more than almost two years, let's just say. And they said that again, GPT-4 was released in November 2022. However, the months from GPT-3.5 to 4 was very, very small. And they, again, there's no, literally there's no information regarding the training and information release dates yet. However, I had to ask it some more details and let's take a look at these. So first off, predicts 2025. And again, this is Google Bard basing it off information that's received. 2026 is more conservative and 2027 is potentially they're like for sure right however everyone states that it could be by the end of 2023 if not early 2024 so some are even saying it could be happening in september so i think in the overview let's just extrapolate this and maybe if it were to release sort of a starter version i would not be surprised if that came out in 2023 however gpt4 currently right now if you guys have access to it it's not at the level that it should be at because it's capped right now. There's a message cap and it's still amazing. However, it's not at its full potential, which means there's a lot of bugs they have to update with. So GPT-5 at its full potential, I feel like it's not, who knows? Again, we don't know yet. But they do say obviously the data is going to be significantly larger and potentially, let's come ask it some questions. However, some articles are predicting that it could potentially read up to 50 to upwards of 150,000 words, which is a significantly larger data amount versus the current GBT model. And even GBT4, 90%, 99% of things most humans needed to ask could probably solve what you're trying to do. However, there's still that 1% where it has the little errors and bugs that doesn't make it, I'd say, at the level that we are predicting GBT5 could even get close to. So we could say, for example, give more insights, see if get, uh, Google Bar can even do this. And then also I could go ahead and Google, uh, click the Google button, which I do enjoy about Google Bar. And basically here it is. Yeah, so it looks like it's a similar response. And then we hit Google it. We can see here release dates. And then basically this is so far the general overview of the articles are being sent. So for example, this one September to October. So again, there's still predictions. However, at the end of the day, when it gets released, if it does, the levels is going to be above GPT-4 is going to be absurd. So do share your thoughts when you think it's going to be out and is it going to be bad or good for the human race? Share your thoughts, like and subscribe for more and thank you for watching.